Hey guys, welcome back to another installment at Trini Point of View. Now today I'm going to do something a little different. It's not a review, but this is going to be my top 10. Hopefully I can keep it down to 10 annoying things people do at the movie theater. I'm going to start from as soon as you actually walk in a theater. So one of the things I really hate is when people stand in a line and they're actually there and they're like watching the, the board with all the times and all the movies. And it's like you're in the line for like a couple of minutes. Why can't you just decide what movie and what time you want to see? And then when you do decide now, it's like all your friends, you start to collect money and all these things. It's like, yo, try and figure this thing out, get things in place because there are other people behind you. That, that has really pissed me off. Number two is, they, this actually just happened today. And I won't say what cinema because you know what, they actually made up for it. And uh, the concessional is like, yo, you know it's Friday, there's a big movie premiering and you don't have stuff waiting, you know, like you sell fries and chicken and burgers. And you need to have these things already prepared waiting for people to buy. I actually went in today and at the cinema, I actually had to wait an hour for food. I was like, yo, give me back my money, Dread, earlier on games. And then I was like, you see this, give me back my tickets. One time I go to another cinema, I'd rather wait in line and fight for a seat rather than having to study, you know, like the trauma of like an hour. I actually went an hour early so I could get something to eat so I could actually concentrate on the movie, but then you actually make me wait an hour for food. That is not cool. That is not cool in any way. So if it's one thing I like to do, I like to get to movies early so I could get like the seats that I want kind of in the center, kind of in the middle, you know, like, well, front of the middle, you could say. And I hate when I actually get there, get my food and get little popcorn and these things. And you go to the scanner, guys, you get scan, yeah, yeah. And then he says, you know, like, five more minutes, five more minutes again. And you turn and as you sit, it's like, you actually see like a massive line just form out of nowhere. It's like, yo, you just told me five minutes. Come on, where all these people? You lying, everybody else, when you told me to come and sit down. It's like, yeah, you have to get on a dread. Okay, so you're rushing to the cinema now and you actually get like the perfect seat that you wanted. And you ever just know that this person behind you is actually going to be the serial seat kicker yes a serial seat kicker the one guy who stretches out his foot you can't see my foot right now but it's stretched out the one guy who stretches out and taps his foot on your seat or he'll fold his foot and then his foot will be at the top of your seat like tapping tapping you know, like those people who are always shaking it's like yo you're really a serial seat kicker and you come to spoil my movie it's like get the hell out of here. What about the popcorn bag crumpler? You know the people who actually consider themselves the king of popcorn land, king of movie land, they actually have the big popcorns. I mean I get it sometimes, but like they finish it in half hour and you know like you're actually waiting for like that quiet scene, the emotional scene movie and then you just must crumple that bag. It's like, yo, you greedy bastards, stop it. You can just hold on to your bag for like two minutes, please. What about the couple that comes into the movie and they must ask one another a million and one questions. It's like every scene, it's like, did you, who's, who's that? You know, like, he's the same guy from so-and-so. Hey, what about so? Hey, he was on that movie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you must carry on a conversation. It's like, how do you people manage to end up behind me every time? It's like a million and one questions you have to ask one another. It's like, you, you, you even ask one another, like, hey, you pay the and tech bill? It's like, yo, if you have to ask that question, you need to set your priorities. Don't get me started on these screamers. You go in a horror movie and there's always these screamers who must scream out, don't go in there, don't go in there, don't open that door. No, don't go there, stay, wait, wait, wait. It's like, yo, we're all watching the same movie, we're thinking the same thing, like, shut up. Like, just watch the movie and, and just watch the movie and enjoy it. Maybe the worst of all, these people with these cell phones, like all these Samsungs and the new Apple phones, and it's like big like this, and their screens are on bright. And you sit in front of me, you know, like there's always like an angle, and you have to check the time on your phone, and it's like you're distracting the hell out of me. Or the, or the people who must answer their phone, and it's like, yeah, I'm at the cinema. What you say? No, at the cinema. You always say, no, at the cinema. Yeah, I'll call you back when it's done. Yeah, you eat, all right, you make the dog rice. Like, yo, cool it with this phone thing, Nandred. Or you don't see how people trying to concentrate on the movie, and every time you say it, your voice actually increasing, increasing, increasing. It's like, give me a break. The most unforgivable of them all, and I've witnessed it with my own eyes, the pirates. Yo, piracy is illegal, come on. Don't you all know that? You sit down in the, in the cinema, and you actually take out your phone, and you're like this. And I'm sitting next to you right here, and your phone is on bright and you're not even trying to hide the screen and you're recording everything it's like yo that there are laws against these things you people actually just go in there and have the audacity to take out your big ass phone and try to record the people movie and the cinema is like packed that that actually happened to me with my dear's halloween i had to actually tell like the guy next to me like yo what the hell are you doing put your phone away it's like 
you only taking out your phone and messaging and then you're, you're talking like throughout half of the movie it's like either you get out of here or you switch your phone off another thing that usually happens and it's not that big of a deal to me because i haven't experienced so much is you know a lot of people go into movies with toddlers and you know this is an r-rated movie and i usually ask myself like why are you people bringing these children into these movies with like these these, these sex scenes these cursing and it's like very adult jokes even and it's like you all need to get your priorities straight and get a babysitter because some of these things are a bit too mature and these why they are ratings for movies and there's a reason so you all need to pay attention to that get a babysitter get a cousin get an aunt get somebody to look at your kids this one is a pet peeve it's my last but it's a pet peeve and i hate when people go into a comic book movie you know the comic genre now and especially a marvel movie and as the credits start you leave it's like don't you know marvel put in credit scenes for a reason it's to keep you there and marvel movies even guardians of the galaxy volume 2 had five post credit scenes it's like where are your priorities when it comes to comic book genre movies you need to actually sit down read all those names and give those people their props for the work that they've done on their on their magnificent movies and wait for those do those, those post credit scenes because they're always worth it all right guys thanks for checking me out for another installment at training point of view those were my top 10 it was kind of 11 annoying things that people do at the movie theater and i'm sure you have some so comment down below on what stuff annoy you and especially serial seat kickers i know plenty of you experience that and you want to have to talk about their tea and tech bill in the middle of a movie i know you guys experience that so comment down below and let me know your thoughts on it make sure i hit that thumbs up subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you get notifications when i post new videos and as usual see you again